Let me just begin by saying that there are two sides to every story, and this is my side, the right one. Do you want to go out with me? Brandon, just a couple hours ago, you told me you were gay. You said I should pretend to be straight. I didn't mean with me. Just one good imaginary fling. Don't stop! Oh, I'm not gonna stop! Just a little bit caught in the middle. I think it was more the story than, um, than any opportunity to play different sides of I mean, it was just, she, she seemed like just such a genuine, real girl. Olive, that's your name, right? Yeah. Uh, we've had nine classes together since kindergarten. Mm -hmm. And it was interesting, and it was funny, and it was smart, and um, I just, I really loved it. Ojai has a really great vibe to it. It's like this Dust Bowl town on the water. So it's like this ranch kind of nautical thing going on, and it's, it's got a really cool vibe, a lot of orange. We had a lot of oranges in the movie. I don't know if you recognize it, but there's like this inside joke that Will, the director, has with himself about oranges in the movie. I don't know what it's about, but <laughs> he put a lot of orange in it. I always thought that pretending to lose my virginity would be a little more special. Judy Bloom should have prepared me for that. Do you feel like the movie's more about being honest with yourself than anything else? Yes, absolutely. I think there were a lot of themes of the movie, but in the end, she kind of finds out that telling the truth about herself to herself and to others is the best way to go. No judgment, but you kind of look like a stripper. Mom. A high-end stripper for governors or athletes. Screw all these people, Olive. Yeah, I mean, it sounds a bit cheesy in an after-school special like, but, but yeah, it is, ultimately. I mean, that's what my character represents, and that's what her character essentially represents, even though she's thrust into this rumor mill. I'm not the one that you have to answer to for your depraved behavior. There's a higher power that will judge you for your indecency. Tom Cruise. I think it's... In the same way that virtually every teen movie is some kind of like Shakespearean homage. And, and it's just, it, all it is is I think taking a sort of uh, iconic, timeless seed and then you placing it in a modern context. Who do you usually listen to? Sophia and Stevens, Cat Stevens, both Stevens. I try to get into new music, some sleigh bells right now. Who's typically on your playlist? Right now, it's like Phosphorescent, Arcade Fire, Bon Iver, and uh, always D'Angelo. <laughs> Does the movie remind you of any songs? Knock on Wood, which is the song at the end. But yeah, I mean, and now Poker Face because of that, that damn trailer. <laughs> <laughs>